Hello and welcome to my channel, uh, morning edition of the art talk. Uh, my beard is not entirely unshaven and my hair is fairly short and clean so things could be a bit better but they could also be a lot worse. Now let's get on to the main topics. First I want to thank you for 10,000 subscribers. I finally reached that nice round number. I want to thank you for all of your views and likes and comments as well as suggestions. I have put in quite a bit of work into this channel. I now have hundreds of videos and I hope to produce hundreds more. I will continue to make uh, a lot more drawing videos and tutorials. And once again, I want to thank you uh, for all of your views and the time you spent watching them. 10,000 subscribers is a very decent number. This is not uh, such a small channel anymore and I hope that it will continue to grow. On to the second topic and this is a bit of sad news. Uh, Sean Connery died a couple of days ago so rest in peace to the only true James Bond. He was one of my favorite actors and a very interesting masculine figure. I did a couple of drawings of him and I want to show them to you. And the first one is this uh, portrait of him as James Bond and it was done several years ago. I think this was done in 2016. It was done in graphite pencil and at the time I already had a very decent uh, level of skill in graphite pencil. I think I achieved some nice contrast and some nice texture on his face. So this was done as a classic portrait. But the other one, the, the second one was a slightly more complex scene done on a larger size paper and this was done in a combination of graphite pencil and a black colored pencil uh, so like i said this one uh, was uh, quite a bit more detailed scene with him leaning against his car and i'm pretty happy with how both of these drawings came out i actually plan to do uh, a f another drawing of him in the near future i don't really know what the technique uh, or the medium will be but i do plan to do one more drawing of Sean Connery. Finally I want to move on to my main topic and this is what I really wanted to talk about in this video uh, which is how long it takes for you to get good at drawing and I'm going to make an attempt at answering this question even though I can't tell you exactly how long it'll take in your case but the reason why I decided to uh, talk about this is because I had quite a number of people asking me this same thing. I had a, at least a couple of dozen people asking me how long it takes uh, to get better at drawing over the past couple of months and I decided to uh, talk about it a little bit. So uh, I'm going to talk about my development as an artist uh, so that I can give you some idea about how long it may take in your case. Naturally, all of these things depend on your level of uh, talent, how old you are when you pick up drawing, and also how, you, uh, how much effort and time you put into it. So in my particular case, I started drawing very early when I was a kid. My parents are teachers and they always had a bunch of pencils and uh, ballpoint pens and uh, paper lying around, so it was easy for me to to get material for drawing and even as a kid I think I showed some talent because I showed that I understood shapes pretty well so it kind of came natural to me. Um, after that I started reading a lot of comic books and comic books were an important part of my childhood and uh, while I was reading them I also made some attempt at drawing them myself and uh, I initially tried to imitate the comic book drawing style. Now that's quite a bit different from what I'm doing nowadays because my drawings nowadays are uh, quite a bit more detailed and realistic. But the thing is that comic book artists are very good at approximating and simplifying things because they have to explain things in terms of lines and simple black and white relationships. So they always focus on the larger contrasts and they have a way of simplifying things but at the same time making them look very realistic. The advantage of learning that comic book style is that it can help you focus 
on the basics and the essentials and that can actually help you improve later when you move on to more complex realistic drawings. In my teenage years I also did a little bit of painting and I mostly did that with gouache. I didn't do too many paintings, just several of them and it was mostly paintings of animals and aeroplanes. Uh, but I also did a few uh, graphite pencil drawings of animals at the time. I didn't really commit to it too much because the thing about my drawing career, if you want to call it that, is that uh, I had a, a lot of long breaks because I always had a lot of hobbies and a lot of things that I was interested in and I would sometimes forget about drawing for several years and then go back to it later and then forget about it for several more years and do something else and then go back to drawing for a few months or, and so on. And uh, later, when I was much older, I actually did a little bit of computer graphics where I did drawings of textures and I also did a little bit of uh, 3D modeling. And I think that even though uh, when you work on digital art, you work in a completely different environment, and that actually helped me improve my uh, drawing skills even though I wasn't really drawing on paper and with a pencil. So later when I got back to drawing I found out that my drawing skill had actually improved immensely even though I, haven't, I hadn't actually done any drawing with a pencil. And I decided to go back to drawing in 2014 because I felt like I needed to uh, go back to my old hobby. I felt that I needed something to relieve the stress and I always felt like I needed a hobby and I always recommend to people uh, that they have to have at least some kind of a hobby. It's very, it, it, it's a very important part of life or at least it, it always has been for me. So I decided to go back to it in 2014 and I started posting my drawings online on social media and I got a lot of encouragement from people and that kind of pushed me to dedicate even more time and effort into my drawings and later I even made a little bit of money from it uh, but most of it is just uh, mainly a hobby. Uh, now uh, from 2014 till now is about six years or so or maybe a little bit more but the thing is that uh, the reason why I'm uh, telling you this period is because I, I'm already in my 40s and uh, the reason why I'm telling you that it's only a five or six years period is because I believe that almost anybody can reach a fairly decent level of skill if they draw for five years. But the thing is that you have to draw every single day because for the last five or six years I've been drawing almost every single day. And the thing is that um, I can't really predict how much effort you will put into it. The, the, the thing is also that you have to challenge yourself, so you have to try drawing in different styles and uh, try drawing different subjects. And sometimes when you take up commission drawings, when people want you to draw portraits of them, that can also push you uh, to challenge yourself a little bit. And you can improve, improve that way as well. So I think you also need a little bit of talent, but I think that an average, even an average person with a, with a mediocre amount of talent can become a decent artist in about five years or so. And somebody with a lot of talent can actually uh, become very, very good after just a couple of years. But the reason why I'm not mentioning age is because things are different when you're a kid. Kids are still developing and uh, when you're older, your perception and your understanding of shapes and things uh, is a lot better than when you were a kid. So I think that adults will actually make quicker progress, uh, progress than kids. But the thing is that it's better to start out as a kid because later, uh, as an adult, you, you will obviously achieve much better results. Uh, an adult person who picks up drawing will actually uh, make quicker progress than a kid because uh, I think they understand things uh, better and um, they just uh, th their perception is a lot more complex and uh, they understand what they see better than kids do. That said, it's better, st it's better to start out, uh, it's better to start drawing 
when you're a kid because uh, you start developing these skills much earlier so that uh, if you continue drawing as an adult you will actually be able to reach a much much higher level of skill. So I hope that I helped you a little bit with this answer. That would be all for this art talk video. I'm going to get back to my projects. Right now I'm doing a series of drawings of Marlon Brando. I'm going to show you some of them. I'm going to post some of them on this channel. And uh, that'll be all. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.